Hello class, this is Mr. Kane from My Daily Math Coach. And today we're going to be talking about a common core based activity that's called trading units for rods. Trading units for rods. And I know it's something that's kind of complicated for many of the students that I'm hearing from. And I wanted to take a second to explain it to you. And then if you ever encounter an activity like this, which you probably will, this video will hopefully help you out. So let's begin. So here we have a problem that you might encounter. And on the right hand side, right over here, you see a spot that says units and a spot that says rods. And you have these little blocks here. And each one of those blocks is going to count as a unit. And here's what you do. You can call them, or we, what we used to call them, is uh, base 10 blocks. And I guess you can still call them that. Uh, what they're going to do now is give it a different name. They're calling them units. And every 10 units equals one rod. So this is how we do it. We can go ahead and cross off these as we do them one and for each one that you cross off put a unit in your box so that's one two three four five i'm just going to go one two three four five that's a symbol for five six seven eight nine ten six seven eight nine ten <clears throat> So now what you have is a group of 10. Uh, let's go ahead and make all the units first, and I'll show you how we trade them in for rods. So we're going to count another 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you keep that pattern going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the question will say, how many units are there and how many rods on there are there? And figure out how many units you can change for rods and how many will you have left so using a different color here I am going to select my groups of 10 units which will equal one rod so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna circle one group and make one rod now I'm gonna cross this out because I don't want to double myself up and let's do this again with another group of 10 two fives make a 10 there's another rod two fives make a 10 so I'm going to exchange that for a rod, and I have five left. So my answer is three rods and five units. We can also think of this as three tens and five ones, which would be a total of 35 units. So I hope that was a little bit helpful for you. Use that pattern, cross them out as you do it, get groups of five units together, Put two groups of five together to make one rod, and at the end, you'll have your total of tens and ones. So this is Mr. Kane from My Daily Math Coach. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it is, you can search for us on YouTube. It is My Daily Math Coach, all one word, on YouTube. And uh, also, you can check it out. Uh, check us out online: www.mydailymathcoach.com. So, Mr. Kane, signing out, and I will see you in the next video.